Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, guys. Welcome to Chat with KST. I'm your girl, K, and today we are here for a quickie segment. Our quickie segment where we're here for a good time, not a long time. So today we're going to be discussing Kevin Hart versus Cat Williams. Cat Williams recently sat down with Shannon Sharp, and he did an interview that gagged the whole world, darling. And this man knew we were watching, and he was just like, "I don't, I don't care, I don't care." I'm going to say what I want to say, right? And one of the people that he did gag in his interview was Kevin Hart. He said that Kevin Hart was an industry plant, but I'm going to let you listen to Cat Williams directly. But before I do let you listen to um, Cat Williams, I'm going to play this quick clip for you to hear of... Um, Kevin Hart, or it's a resurface clip of Kevin Hart talking about Cat Williams. Now, I do want to let you guys just so that if you would like to see the visuals of this, you can always check out YouTube where you can see me and the visuals of what I'm showing you guys, or you can just listen to the audio um plat. You could just listen to the audio podcast on the Spotify platform or Apple Podcasts. So basically. This is just a clip that resurfaced, according to the Shade Room clip of Kevin Hart, speaking on Cat Williams' recent amid Cat Williams' recent comments. So let's listen to this resurfaced clip of what Kevin Hart thought of um, Cat Williams' pre-interview. So let's listen to that. Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one point. You were the guy. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to stand up for comedy. Mm -hmm. So when you say Tiffany Haddish doesn't deserve or isn't really a comedian and these other women have worked hard, which they have. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Melanie Camacho. Shouts out to Lou Nell. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Leslie Jones, who are all underneath the umbrella of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? Mm -hmm. You haven't. So because you haven't, don't shit on those that now are. I've used my platform and I brought my guys and girls up. Mm-hmm. The brand of Kevin Hart is a brand that's expanded so far, whether you like me or not, my presence of comedy will forever be felt because mm. I'm a fuck boss. Frustration with Cat Williams comes from. So you just heard and listened to what Kevin Hart's frustrations are with Cat Williams, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to how Cat Williams feel about Kevin Hart. Let's listen. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A., he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. You didn't know? (laughs) Yeah, Kevin Hart purchased it so he's now doing uh comic view that happened at the same time that they gave dc young fly uh hollywood squares Where? yeah because they tell you that there's no gatekeepers but we keep seeing the same people open the gate didn't kevin open the gate and let tiffany in and he now opening it up for, don't such and such open the gate but what do you mean ain't no gatekeepers there's a hundred gates out here would you I, have- I, everyone I've seen got a keeper. I know so many things I should know, and they all he already had his deals when he got here. Have- okay, so industry plant. I want us to find the definition of an industry plant because.
it is something that we throw around a lot. I like the Wikipedia um, definition of industry plant, but really and truly, I don't like Wikipedia. I don't like Wikipedia. I hate Wikipedia. Like, I don't know if it's from like school, them always telling me never to use Wikipedia as a resource. So the fact that I'm going to use, use it now is just because I have to. But according to Wikipedia, an industry plant, it commonly, commonly refers to musicians who quickly find success regardless of skill or merit. And per perpetuity, hold on, wait, per perpetuity um, describe themselves as self-made and independent despite being heavily supported by a record label or having other resources and connections in the music industry that um, that they intentionally hide. So basically, according to Wikipedia, because I hear industry plant a lot, right? And what, what Kevin Hart basically accused Cat Williams of in the previous clip was being someone who fucked off his deals and allowed drugs to get the best of him. Cat Williams addressed those rumors and said that he's never done hardcore drugs. He's never missed um, anything that he that was set up for him in terms of um, any deals or any shows or anything like that. He doesn't miss his shows. He shows up to work and he does what he has to do at his cat on his on set and everything like that. So those things he said were all lies and he doesn't like lies. So Cat Williams did address those things in the interview. It just sucks that we don't have a clip for it here, but I want to just reiterate and and kind of clear the, clear up the fact that Cat Williams did address what um Kevin Hart said in that resurfaced clip, right? No drugs, like they accuse him of no drugs and not a not somebody who fucks off on the job but actually shows up and do an impeccable job each and every time. If he doesn't do any drugs, it's soft drugs like marijuana or he'll drink or something, but nothing, no hardcore drugs, right? Cigarettes or marijuana was the two choices that he said he I'm um, Cat Williams used. Now to address Cat Williams' allegations towards Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart being an industry plant, what we just looked at was a definition of industry plant that may be a little bit feeble because I think it's more in-depth than what Wikipedia says it is, which is why I think my teachers back in school, they hated when I used Wikipedia. I personally feel like an industry plant is someone who is planted in the industry, like Wikipedia said, regardless of talent, regardless of merit, regardless of what, they just show up one day and suddenly we love them and the spotlight is all on them and everybody and all the resources, all those resources is being invested into this one person. However, I don't feel like an industry plant is just someone that is just planted there for no reason. I feel like the industry plant is planted there Yes, there is the hidden, the, like Wikipedia mentioned, the hidden, um, the hidden concept or the hidden, the hidden um, part of it that they were somehow planted, right? You don't want them, you don't want people to know that you were somehow planted or how you were planted there or who planted you there, but there is some um, allegiance to who planted you there. So if the person, let's say you, let's say, um, IK became an industry plant, right? And I like Nicki Minaj, right? I love Nicki Minaj. I'm a big Nicki Minaj flan, um, fan. But whoever planted me in the industry, right? And and whoever funds me and paid for me and whoever I decided to sign contracts with wants me to ruin Nicki Minaj, I will get on a platform and talk negatively about Nicki Minaj despite the love that I do have for her. That I feel like would be an industry plant. An industry plant isn't normally sometimes a nobody. It's normally people that are somebody, right? That are industry plants. Not somebody who's like a nobody like me, but industry plants I feel like are people that either um, someone in the industry finds like, can be like a, a flower, like, that, that could be like 
someone that's like a rising star or it could be like a family member or a friend or someone that's really cool or, you know, like someone that's close to them. But anyway, that's just how I be perceiving industry plants to be. I could definitely be wrong about who what an industry plant is. And if I am and you're on YouTube, then correct me and tell me what an industry plant is and do it nicely because y'all with y'all comments. Oh, my God. Especially on TikTok. Y'all comments be really, really. Oh, Ew, no. But anyway, for me, um, I agree with Wikipedia with the fact that an industry plant is someone that gets the position without the merit or whatever. But I just feel like there is the added bonus of whoever plants you, that's where the allegiance lies, right? Now, whoever gets planted, I feel like that that you may disagree with me on, but who will we'll argue in the comment section because we got better business to handle. So Cat Williams feels as though Kevin Hart is an industry plant. Now, what I want you to do is raise your hand if you think that Kevin Hart is an industry plant in the comment section on YouTube. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. And if you think that Kevin Hart is not an industry plant, I want you to put booze, okay? Put your thumbs down, okay? And say Kevin Hart is not an industry plant. My question, though, is... How did Kevin Hart get to where he is in the heights of success that he did? And he didn't have to work as hard as the other comedians. But then I'm like, hey, he did kind of sneak in at a really, really good time. Because you know what? You never really look at something until someone tells you to look at it, right? Because I'm like, Kevin Hart, he out here, Kevin, 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 I love me some Kevin. But then someone tells you, oh, wait, Kevin is an industry plant. And then you'd be like, hold on. Holds on, holds on. When Kat says it, it's like, holds on, holds on, holds on. What was Kevin Hart doing before this major success that he's had with all of this different stand-up and selling out shows and doing all these different major major stadiums and stuff? Like, what was Kevin? Who, who was Kevin Hart before? And how much stand-up did he do? And where did he get his foot wet? And who is he? Because we've only really known Cat Williams, Steve Harvey, and a couple of other Bernie Max and you know all these other people so Kevin Hart really just did pop up out of nowhere so it's like where did he pop up out of like really and truly now let me think about it you start folding your hands you start you start wondering a couple things right so now um this is what if you thought Kevin didn't address Kevin is always gonna address okay but this is how Kevin Hart chose to address I, 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 Kev, you, you didn't say nothing to Cat Williams when he did a three-hour uh, interview talking slow yesterday. <laughs> you didn't put a shot well, clock on well, him. <laughs> well, do, you, do you entertain the circus or do you watch it, Kurt? Which one do you do? <laughs> So what he said was, do you entertain the circus or do you just watch it? And I just want to say shout out to the Shade Room for these clips. Shout out to the Shade Room for these cutouts for these older clips that resurfaced. Shout out to you, Shade Room, because that's where we're, we're getting this information from. That's our resources. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Shade Room. Um, shout out to them. But anyway, Kevin Hart says, I am sitting back and I'm watching the circus. I won't be a part of the circus. I just feel like, Kevin, um, that is a really, really good stance to take. Um, to not join in or respond when someone does make some allegations against you because you do allow it to blow over, right? Instead of addressing it, you do allow it to just blow over. So now we'll always just have the question and we'll always just be wondering in the back of our minds, is Kevin Hart an industry plant or not? I guess we will never, ever, ever know. Now, will we? Now will we. The only thing I do remember about Mr. Kevin Hart is that he is currently st still suing Tasha K for that um that interview that released with her um with her with his with his um former assistant and Tasha K hers her assistant perhaps allegedly trying to extort Kevin Hart. So that's where we that's where we're at right now. So we don't know what's going on. I guess we'll figure that out, but that's what's going on with Kevin Hart in his life. So we'll see what happens. But my question to you is are you team 
Cat Williams or Team Kevin Hart? Who are you rooting for? Which bone do you have in the fight? Like, honestly, I'm always Team Kevin Hart, but then it's like, we're going up against Cat Williams this time? Huh? That's like Kevin Kevin Hart going up against Dave Chappelle. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, sorry. That's like Kevin Hart going up against um Dave Chappelle. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't do this. Like, I'm normally, let me just say that again because I want to make sure I got the names correct. And I'm going to get the names correct this time just in case I messed up. I normally always, always, always root for Kevin Hart because I'm a big Kevin Hart fan. Miss Green, all of his jokes, I can never forget his jokes till this day, right? But again... He's going up against Cat Williams. I That's like him going up against Dave Chappelle. And I got to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because before you were, before I started l- laughing at your jokes, I was listening to Cat Williams. And Dave Chappelle is a bad man, my jammer. So there's certain people in the industry that you just can't go up against no matter how much we love you. So um, I don't know what's going on, but... We'll definitely see. I want to hear who you are rooting for in the comment section on YouTube. And for those of you who are listening to this through Spotify or Apple Podcasts, um, we'll chat later. And if I did get any of the names mixed up, I am totally, totally sorry. Just read between the lines and you will understand. And if you need to go over to YouTube to get some clarification because it's on YouTube, you guys can do that as well. Because I do feel like I probably got the names mixed up maybe like once or twice in that last part. But anyway... Laters. And no, I'm not an industry plant. Bye.